Hi everyone, your Chess Puzzler here and welcome to the channel. Now, this is the final round after 11 very crucial games, just to be able to announce whether the defender Magnus Carlsen remains the world champion or this chap, Fabiano Caruana, is going to become the next chess king. There is plenty at stake and both are quite nervous. Who is more nervous? I don't think this is important. And it would be for both business as usual. Magnus wants to retain his title, of course, and Fabi wants it so much. Neither of them show any real nerves during the games, and having seen them go through 11 very beautiful games, I think these two know how to keep their cool. They say they are not nervous, but is it all a gimmick? Can you see this pitch unfold? Or can you see Fabi in the palace making his dreams come true? It is going to be one or the other, and we would either know tomorrow or we have to wait until Tuesday. No one knows what the players will be doing on the rest day, but they're probably going to get prepared for the last game, and probably, if there is a draw, they would want to get ready for faster games. We know Carlsen has a better record when it comes to faster games. But he also has a better record when he came to the classical time controls. Did this get him anywhere? And this is your answer. In fact, he escaped a few times, but generally, this is Carlsen. And you're not the best chess player in the world for nothing. Okay, game 12 on Monday is going to be the biggest game of them all. And we do have Fabi, who's going to take on the white pieces and probably go for what he went for earlier. During the last press conference, Fabi said he was not going to go crazy and he's for sure not going to rush things. If he finds an open window, only then he would grab his chances. And I think the same is going to apply for Magnus Carlsen. He looked very realistic. And never once he said he was going to win this championship. He only said he wants to win it, but so did Fabi. So a big game on Monday, and do expect a wild one. The opening? Maybe I will be surprised to see anything other than an E4. But is it going to go into another Rosso Lima? We're not sure, and this will depend on how Magnus weighs his chances. It might be a choice between the Sicilian and the Spanish. But knowing Carlsen, he can go for anything. Whatever these two do, let us hope we're going to see another tremendously enjoyable game worthy of a championship match. Whatever happens in the game of round 12, we have begun to enjoy these last few games from the latest rounds. And who said drawn games are boring? To the contrary. In fact, game 10 has indeed been one of the most intriguing and sophisticated games of nearly all the championship games we have seen. So let us hope we're going to see another high quality and high spec game in the end. Who's going to win it? Right now is a 50-50 chance and that coin can flip and land on either side. I shall be here on Monday to cover game 12 and if need be, whatever follows after that. Until those moments come, this was your chess puzzler.